cough, Doc. Hey, kid, I know what you're thinking. What could sound more appealing than a slimy stranger giving you orders? Trust me, I know the feeling. But listen, this place has gone to hell. It's getting worse fast. Richthofen is stepping up to repair our teleportation device, but it's not going to be an easy job. You find us and provide some support, and you might actually make it out of here. The speck of good news in all this is that there are still some supplies scattered around this dump. Get yourself armed, and maybe mow down an undead ugly or two on the way over. A broken clock is right twice a day, yes? Well, that is German and his plan. Consider it the first correct strike of day. We've been trapped here for days now, and the monsters only grow stronger each night. Between protecting the teleportation base and caring for our comrades' wounds, you could say we are rather overwhelmed. We're Takio in fighting form. It might be different, but alas. Fortunately, there is a defensive turret that will help you resist monster attacks. It is extremely effective, if I do say so myself. And I would know. I created it. Yeah, yeah, open a window. Your ego's stinking up the place. Listen, kid, if you encounter any materials scattered around out there, no matter how junky they seem, bring them to us. We'll help you find a use for them. they are placed as the zombies pass, they will automatically attack. Just don't put the turret outside the defensive umbrella. They can't stand the storm. Listen to me carefully. At night, the bases will attract no end of dangerous creatures. If it is destroyed, they'll be torn to pieces by the storm in seconds. Bastards are here, guns are loaded. Let's get this started. Finally, the transmission device is almost repaired. You better collect more supplies and be back here before nightfall so we can prepare. I've sent the salvage we've gathered from several scattered vehicles your way. Use it wisely. Running vehicles are rare commodities. And should you happen to use one, exercise caution. The ESO storm paralyzes motors when night falls. Because, of course they do.
provide enough energy to help us reopen the portal. As for you, I'm afraid if you don't make it back on time, we won't fail you. Don't let poor punctuality be your downfall. like an honest, simple-minded sort of person. So do enjoy, for today, I will provide you with more defensive turrets. In addition, I've sent you my latest turret design. You may look over the blueprints for more details. Upgrading the original turret should help it adore more of those creatures. Not be stingy with bullets either. Let them rain down like hellfire. Complicated. Just look at the vortex. When the etheric energy rages at night, transmission cracks open, and these monsters are then attracted by the energy. Like raccoons drawn to the dumpster. But these are infinitely more fun to blow up. Energy transmission device is normal. The time-space access calibration is completed. Energy devices are being accumulated to protect the base, and we are ready to go home. Airdrop has been delivered. Airdrop has been delivered. What the hell, Doc? We teleported, but we're still in the same damn place. Do you think I don't know that damn thing? The energy in this thing is too strong. It's sucking us in place like candy. To harness more of that energy ourselves to break through this barrier. Ah, I see broken clock ticks off.
nine? Holy shit. There are even more cracks for the monsters to teleport through now. Get ready, soldier. It's gonna be a big one. The teleportation device needs more work. The etheric energy is going to attract more enemies in the meantime. So I built more turrets for you to use and upgrade with the materials gathered. Don't make a bigger mess of me. Based on my observations throughout these last few days, the Ether Crystals release a large burst of energy after the storms cause them to grow reactive at night. They're quite unstable in their current state, but if we could manage to control that during the daytime, we might be able to use their energy. I'll mark the locations of a few crystals on the map. Don't exactly get how you think you can control them while making them go nuts, though. Take this. It's a device that would cause a reaction within the ether crystals. Use it when in close proximity and smash them. Then you'll be able to gather the pure crystallized energy that's released. Or it will resemble several frag grenades blowing up in your face. Certainly one of those things. Listen, the base has its own warehouse that can be used for storage. That warehouse also lets you share supplies with your teammates. Trust me, this is not the time to be a lone wolf.
charging force is almost complete. We'll try again tonight. All towers have been unlocked as well, so make good use of them. Let's give the meatbags everything we got.
Hurry up. It's time for our last stand. KTB. Open. Men, they are going home. 